lot of people think about plants as passive, helpless, defenseless creatures, but that's not the case at all. Plants protect themselves in a variety of ways, both physical and chemical. Plants have thorns, and they also have chemical defenses like toxins, which can poison animals or bind to nutrients and make them unavailable for digestion. Animals that eat plants, like the koala, are often limited in key nutrients, so any variation in this in a landscape can make a big difference in habitat quality. If we can identify those areas of the landscape that are the most nutritious and the least toxic, then we can focus our conservation resources on protecting the most productive landscapes for wildlife. One of the tools that we've developed for doing nutritional work is a form of spectroscopy called near-infrared reflectance spectroscopy. And this is a technique which started in the pharmaceutical and agricultural industries and we effectively brought it into ecology. And what it does is to allow us to make very, very rapid measurements of the nutrients or toxins or even the feeding value of uh, different plants for animals. Most of the time people analyse just the total nutrient content of plants, but our lab's been able to come up with methods that allow us to measure the quality of plants in the way that an animal actually perceives them. Government and conservation organizations that make decisions about landscape management are starting to recognize the importance of including measures of nutritional quality in considerations of habitat quality for wildlife. Having a better understanding of the, um, the leaf biochemistry and the nutrient status um, for a species like the koala could have a profound effect on how we go about planning for protecting key areas of koala habitat in the future. As a mining company, we don't really have the capability to um, do all those foliage quality analyses, um, although we are very interested um, in the results. So that's where we hope that we could um, maybe uh, start a collaboration with your team and do the work together. With support from the National Environmental Research Program, OSCOVER, and other project partners, our team is developing methods to measure plant chemistry across wide areas. This will help inform landscape management decisions for species like the koala. We are also investigating how plant-animal interactions at local scales impact patterns of animal distribution and abundance across landscapes. To do this, we are sampling thousands of trees across Australia. We collect the leaves and bring them back to the lab for analysis. We are also developing new methods with remote sensing. Using sunlight reflected from trees and captured with an airborne spectrometer, we can map variations in fuller chemistry across landscapes. The more sampling you do in the field, or you have to do in the field, the more expensive it is. And uh, with remote sensing, you cover a large area very quickly. It, uh, with these sort of remote sensing techniques, we can produce maps to look at potential impacts of disease or herbivory, spatial distribution of different species or different habitats. This technology allows us to see landscapes in new ways. The distributions of biochemicals revealed with remote sensing will help us understand ecosystem processes and measure forage quality for animals like the koala.